Gaffer, back at home, third game in a week. What are your initial thoughts ahead of the game with Sheffield Wednesday? Yeah, third game in a week, busy week. Um, yeah, third game in in, uh, in that week. It's um, it's been a busy time, so um, we've prepared as best we can and um, rested and recuperated the lads as best we can. And now um, all the preparation has been done. We just have to hope that we can carry on putting in performances that we have done. You say it has been a busy week, but it's been a very successful week. Four points and hopefully more to come. Well, it's not finished yet, so we'll uh, we'll judge whether it's been a successful week. In form, otherwise, at the moment, seven points out of nine, that's been good. Um, but um, we know that there's a stern test to come from Sheffield Wednesday, so you know we'll give them the full respect that we give every team. With the compressed schedule, you said you'd like to have two days of proper preparation for a game. Have you had to condense everything to get... All yeah, the we have a little in? bit. Yeah, we have done. I mean, obviously, you, you, you're very limited in them two days, what you can do with the players, so... Um, We've had to cram a little bit in, but I think it's been well well worthwhile and hopefully that will be the case um, come match time. What have you seen of Sheffield Wednesday so far this season? Well, I mean, I see the game the other night, but um, you know, when I look at that, I wouldn't take too much notice from that. You know, they've got some very good players, a good manager and a good man. And, um, you know, I'm sure that they'll, they'll be a bit sore after the other night. But, you know, we're also disappointed we didn't get three points. Um, from the Accrington Stanley game, when you look at how we started the game, and, and perhaps the chances we missed, so you know we'll we'll be looking forward to the games. I'm sure as much as they are. We obviously played them earlier in the season. Can you take any any notes from that game in preparation for this? No, I don't think so, really. You know, as I said, you know they had a good squad then, and they've got a good squad now, and um, we'll 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 give them full respect because that's what we do to everybody. And um, you know, it's a it's a great club. Um, with a, a huge support, a great support behind them. So it's going to be a difficult game, we know that. And then just to check, did everyone come through Accrington OK? Uh, yes, yes. We didn't make any substitutions and there was no no, um, no reactions to, to that game. So no, we're, uh, we've, got, we've got everybody that we had available for that game available. We've also got another NHS pop-up, vaccination pop-up. Can you give us some words, just a bit of encouragement of you know, why fans should take opportunity, take the opportunity? Well, I think that I've been a big enough spokesman for COVID, for injections. I don't think that there's too much more that I can add to it. I think that, you know, if people are going to have those injections, they're going to have them now, probably irrespective of what I say. So, you know, I think that um, if they if they do take uh, their injections or book a vaccination on the back of what I've said or, or, or put out there in the past, then, then great. And if there's a few more to convince, um, then let's all of us carry on convincing them. We announced Seiku earlier today. Could you give us some information about how that move came about? Well, it's been there for a little while in the background. You know, I think he's just uh, he's a young boy. Um, you know, it, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect too much too soon from him. He's just a young boy that we've brought in from Bristol City, um, just slightly younger than George Nurse. But obviously, I've seen him. Um, as well, he, he brings great pace to a, to a forward line and um, we're looking forward to working with him. You know, he's still only a young boy and there's plenty to learn. Um, but let's just see how he goes, first of all, and, uh, and we wish him all the best. And then just to check, with the New Year schedule around registering players, just confirm he's not available for Sheffield Wednesday, Yeah, is he? no, he's not available for Sheffield Wednesday, but we've, he, he's been in with the players today and he's done some fitness work with, with Andy Johnson. Um, I've yet to find out how that went, um, but I'm sure it would have been a, a tough session for him based on what I give Andy to give him to do today. Brilliant. Thank you, Gaffer. Pleasure. Happy New Year to everybody as well, by the way. Sorry about that. No.